I believe in this movement. I've got lots of friends and family in the lower 48 who attend these events and across the country just knowing that this is the movement and America is ready for another revolution and you are a part of this. Now in recent weeks, many of us have grown even more uneasy about our administration's approach to national security. The most important role ascribed to our federal government, we should acknowledge that on Christmas Day, the system did not work. Abdul Mutallab passed through airport security with a bomb, and he boarded a flight hell-bent on killing innocent passengers. This terrorist trained in Yemen with Al-Qaeda. His American visa was not revoked until after he tried to kill hundreds of passengers. On Christmas Day, the only thing that stopped this terrorist was blind luck and brave passengers. Really, it was a Christmas miracle, and that is not the way that the system is supposed to work. The events surrounding the Christmas Day plot reflect the kind of thinking that led to September 11th. That the, the threat then as the USS Cole was attacked, our embassies were attacked, it was treated like an international crime spree, not like an act of war. We're seeing that mindset again settle into Washington. That scares me for my children, for your children. Treating this like a mere law enforcement matter places our country at grave risk because that's not how radical Islamic extremists are looking at this. They know we're at war and to win that war, we need a commander-in-chief, not a professor of law standing at the lectern.